You know, this marks a landmark um, indication by the FDA in that this is the first medicine that will be able to use intermittently as needed for patients. So no longer do they have to take a daily antidepressant. They can come and take Spravato as needed when needed for the treatment of the depression. Um, so up until now, everything we've taken, you have to take it once a day. This will be the first treatment that is not tied to a daily antidepressant. And I think giving patients the freedom to take it when they need it for their depression. I think it's going to increase access. So many of our patients with treatment-resistant depression have not responded to prior antidepressants. They're reluctant to continue taking them. They're not getting much benefit. Maybe they're only getting side effects. So now this allows access to take Spravato without having to be on an antidepressant, without the baggage of potential side effects, weight gain, sexual side effects, um, without the having to remember something on a daily basis, but coming in as needed for the treatment of the depression. I think it allows patients the freedom to take a medicine as needed when needed for their depression. It's key to it. So first of all, it doesn't hit the chemicals that standard antidepressants hit. Um, glutamate is a very rapid acting chemical. It starts working fairly immediately so that patients within hours to within a day or two can already start to feel that their depression is getting better. It's the first of what we call a new class of rapid acting antidepressants. So instead of having to wait weeks to months to see if my depression gets better, we can start noticing an improvement within hours to days. The beauty there is it's, it's either or. So you can allow patients to be part of that discussion. Do you, do you need an oral antidepressant or is it just giving you side effects? Have you been frustrated by the fact that oral antidepressants haven't worked very well for your depression, especially given that it's treatment resistant? Would you be more likely to try a treatment that didn't need to stay on an antidepressant? I also think this is going to allow patients who have had to decide if they don't want to be on an antidepressant to have to go to TMS for other treatments. Now, instead of going to TMS, which requires daily treatments, they can come to Spravato, which can be given several times a week to every several times a month. Um, you know, I think esketamine has offered hope to many of my patients. Patients who haven't gotten better standard antidepressants, this offers them hope. It's a different mechanism that works quite often where other antidepressants haven't worked. It works in a way that's quicker. It works in a way that has a whole different group of side effects. It doesn't tend to have the weight gain, the sexual side effects, some of the things they've, they've maybe str struggled with in the past. So for me, Spravato offers hope, hope where other antidepressants haven't worked, hope to work in a way that's different, hope to work in a way that's quicker than standard antidepressants. That's, that's a million dollar question. So for some of my patients, it has given them hope that they can come and get a treatment without potentially having to go to the hospital. Um, it's given them hope as they start to feel that they're starting to improve. It helps them be able to manage their thoughts of suicide because no longer do they feel hopeless. They begin to feel you know, hopeful. So I think offering this to patients to help once again with hope, to help maybe prevent a suicide, to offer hope to someone who's struggling with suicidal thoughts, thinking nothing's going to get better. This is a different type of treatment. It works in a way that's different for depression, and it's been shown to work for patients just like you who have stubborn depressions. Esketamine is the first of a whole new group of rapid-acting antidepressants. And so we see a whole new group of medicines that work through the glutamate cascade, which is what Spravato esketamine does. So turning on neural growth factors, making nerve cells grow and connect it with each other, working in a way that's rapid instead of slow when it comes to onset. So we now see a host of medicines in development that target different steps along the glutamate pathway. Now, I think clinicians, not just here in the United States, but I think clinicians around the world have become more and more encouraged by what they've seen as far as the results for their patients with esketamine and Spravato. Um, the good news is when esketamine first came out five, six years ago, we didn't have many clinics that were set up to, to, to administer it. We now see that across the country and literally around the world, we see that clinics have been adopted to help, you know, to be able to deliver esketamine spravato for their patients.